<laughs> Hello viewers and welcome to Emeka Williams Spiritual Tips. I am Pastor Emeka Williams, your own brother. Today I am coming out with another spiritual tips that will, mm -mm, this one will shake the association of the enemies. This one, when I release it like an atomic bomb, you will just be hearing Mboai, Mboai from every corner of the enemies. Because we are set out in this season to take what belongs to us by fire, by force, to undo every resistance and opposition. And whosoever that is standing upon your way of prosperity is an enemy. And as such, in today's spiritual tips, I am going to be teaching us on how to use two bottles of alcoholic wine to put confusion amongst the enemies and make them fight each other to finish. Two bottles of alcoholic wine. But I am having one bottle in here, you know, but you are going to be needing two bottles of alcoholic wine to set your enemies against each other to cause confusion amongst them. Let me tell you, when your enemies have problems that they are being confronted with, they will have less time for you. So if you are ready to ride with me on this particular journey of knowledge, spiritual journey of knowledge under an understanding, please do not touch that dial. But relax. Much break now, much break. Don't be in a hurry to leave. Calm down. Because you have to watch my videos from the first second of the video to the last second of each of my videos for every second is message, information, and power packed. I am confident of that because the grace of God is speaking volume on this particular channel. And if this is your first time of coming in contact with this face, welcome to our channel. This channel is a family channel where every subscriber, every fan of mine and of this channel is a family. And this family, everybody is highly important. Now you have to become a bona fide member of this family. How do you do that? By subscribing to my channel. And how can you subscribe if you may ask Look at the right hand side of this video down below. You will see a red subscribe button. Click on it and put your notification bell to all so that whenever I upload a new video, boom, you will be instantly notified. Why so? So that you don't miss out of the information that is flowing from this stream of knowledge by the grace of the Almighty God. And to my returning subscribers, my returning viewers, my old and new viewers, and uh, my old and new subscribers, double thumbs up as always. God bless you. Every one of you have been sending gifts. Wow. It's not Christmas already. And I am receiving all kinds of gifts. Material gifts, financial gifts, gifts of encouragement. I say thank you so much. You are telling me that I'm doing a great job. And I will continue to be at your service, your royal majesties. So God bless you all. I really appreciate it. And may God answer your prayers. May God reward you according to your works. May he grant you your expectations manifestation. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I must always tell you. To those that are sharing your testimonies, keep rolling it in. Huh? I can't be tired of your testimonies. It is my daily prayer that as many of you out there that come in contact with this channel, you will continue to testify from glory to glory, from level to level, each passing day in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And to you, my first time uh, channel visitors, 
This channel is all about spirituality. We teach on how to use natural ingredients, natural materials, which God has given spiritual powers, properties, and vibrations, harnessing this of their benefits in order to solve man's problem. And I say, your problem has come to an end in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I must not forget to give glory back to God. He is the one doing all things. I have no power of my own. Everything you see me bringing out and giving to you, every power, demonstration, and knowledge is all from the Almighty God. I am just his vessel. And you and I must not share his glory. And we are saying, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the creator that is uncreated, glory, honor, and adoration be returned back unto his holy name alone, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, coming back to our topic of the day, how to use two bottles of alcoholic wine to put confusion in the camp of your enemies and to make them fight tooth and nail until they completely destroy each other. Wow. Is it wickedness? I don't care. If you like, call it wickedness. But as long as they refuse me and you to prosper, we will not sit idly and watch them destroy us. No. I have said it earlier on. Whosoever that we stand as a hindrance, as opposition to your prosperity and progress in life is an enemy. Whether you like it or not, you know, concern me. But the truth must be told. Whosoever that is seeking every means to make sure they kill you, they destroy you, they stop you from eating, they block your ways uh, of income. They are enemies and they are not to be taken with light fingers. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32 says, And the enemies of a man shall be those of his household. Yes. Let me tell us. There are two categories of enemies. One, the household enemies. And this category of enemies are the worst and the most dangerous. They are from your family. Household enemies. They know you're going out and you're coming in. They know your family history. They know your bloodline history. They even know, some of them know, the day you were born. Some know when your mother was married. <laughs> some know when your father was born. Yes. Some household enemies could even be your own parents. Uh-huh. This is a hard nut to crack, but I must tell you the truth. It's not my business. I am here to tell you the truth. Because the Bible says, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Now, household enemy, they know your goings and your comings. In fact, they know your ancestral history. So, to deal with you is very easy and simple for them. Yes. You take them as family, you love them so much, but child of God, I can tell you, they may be the one secretly dealing with you. And you are busy sharing all information about you to them, thinking they are your family, they love you, they should show you care, they are fighting alongside with you. Some of them are not fighting alongside with you. Some of them are wicked and evil. In fact, some of them are the reason you are suffering. May we pray that God should not allow us to have household enemies. When you are being confronted with a battle of an enemy from inside, from your household, it's a very tough battle to fight. But I can assure you, when Jesus is on your side, your battles are ever, uh, you are ever victorious in all battles that confront you. Because the scripture says in Romans chapter 8, that in all things, we are more than conquerors. Now, the second category of enemies are 
external enemies. This set of enemies are not from your family. Possibly from the place of work, where you work, the environment where you work. Maybe from where you do your daily business. Maybe from even the company where you are living. They just don't like you. They don't know much about you, but your prosperity annoys them. Your beauty annoys them. The beautiful children God bless you with makes them angry. Your marriage is sweet and flourishing. They are angry. They don't want to see you. You are being promoted at work. They are not happy. You are good at the job you do. In the office, you are a good uh, 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 employee. They are not just happy seeing any good thing. And before you know it, they will begin to form gang gobs. They will castigate you, tell lies and fabricate lies against you, and feed people with those lies. And before you know it, people will begin to see you in that place of work, in a residential place, as a bad person. As a result of what the enemies has done. I am talking about enemies. Talking about external enemies. Those ones, they have minimal uh, information about you. But whatever information they have about you, they can capitalize on it to work against you. Now, these two categories of enemies also have some category that is linked to both of them. Either the household enemies or the external enemies. They have the ones I call professional enemies. And the B part that I called hired enemies. Who are these professional enemies? Professional enemies are enemies who have spiritual knowledge. They can attack you without going to anybody to ask for help. They know what and what to put together in order to execute their evil agenda against you spiritually and boom, it will take effect. Those are professional enemies. Very dangerous set of people that you should not take pity on when you are dealing with them. Mm -hmm. Then another set, the part B of them are the hired enemies. These hired enemies, don't forget, the professional enemies must know you. They know you. But hired enemies do not know you. Somebody could just take your name to them and ask them to walk evil against you. Somebody could take your picture and go and give to them. And they will use it to work. You have not offended them any, anyhow, anyway. But because somebody has brought your case to them and paid them, to work against you and they will execute the evil assignment even without asking questions spiritually to know whether you are guilty or not those kind of enemies are what i call hired enemies so when you are praying against your enemies don't just say no enemy enemy include all of them both hired enemy both professional enemy household enemy external enemies all of them are enemy and it is thunder that has no break that will destroy all of them that has risen to put you and any child of God under bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. So, now, this being said, I want to go ahead and teach us how to use two bottles of alcoholic wine to put the enemies to fight against each other, confuse them to destroy themselves. After all, in Isaiah chapter 19, verse 1 down to 2, the Bible says, and I, the Lord, will cause the Egyptians against the Egyptians so that they will fight each other and kill themselves. Now, somebody will say, all these uh, spiritual exercises that the Pastor Williams is bringing, are they scriptural? Yes, they are scriptural. And even if you did not see them in the scripture, don't go and do it. Be looking for scriptural. Let us go to the Bible so that you know that all these prophetic assignments we do, most of them are already in the word of God. Jeremiah chapter 13. We are going to read from verse 12 to 14. Get your Bible and follow me so that you will know that this God that we are serving is a very powerful God. 
and his word is new every moment. His word is powerful. No wonder in Jeremiah 23, 29, he said, Is my word not as a fire and like a hammer that breaketh rocks into pieces? Let us go and check that his word. Jeremiah chapter 13, verses 12 to 14. Here is my Bible. No, I am in Jeremiah chapter 13. And I read from verse 12. It says, Therefore thou shalt speak unto them this word. Thou said the Lord God of Israel, Every bottle shall be filled with wine. Oh my God. Every bottle shall be filled with wine. And they shall say unto thee, do we not certainly know that every bottle shall be filled with wine? Verse 13. Then shall thou say unto them, Thus said the Lord, Behold, I will fill all the inhabitants of this land, even the kings that sit upon David's throne, and the priests, and the prophets, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness. Verse 14 says, and I will dash them one against another, even the father against the sons. Together, said the Lord, I will not take pity, nor spear, nor our mess, but destroy them. You see to that? You are going to get two bottles of wine that is filled with alcoholic wine. God said, I am going to dash them together. Dash the bottles together. Demonstrational action. He told the prophet, go and fill bottles with wine. So this time around, you are using only two bottles of wine, uh, wine filled with alcoholic wine. One of the bottles, you will get a paper. On that white sheet of paper, you are going to write, household enemies. Household enemies. When you have written household enemies on that paper, you take it, and you tape it to one of the bottles. Then you get the other bottle. You, with a paper again, you write external enemies. You paste it to the bottle. Then you are going to read this particular Jeremiah, chapter 13, verse 12 to 14. And you now start your prayers. Hold on. Before I complete this particular spiritual power bomb. Let me advertise small. I have spiritual products that are potent, effective, and they don't fail. I am sure. They work. Produced by me. Charged spiritually by me through the power of the Holy Ghost and with a name that supremes over every other name. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. We have cost breaking soap and road opening soap. We have the back to sender soap. We have the anti witchcraft soap. We have the favor soap. The, the love and attraction soap. We have the cream version of it. We have the oil version. And we have also the spiritual detox that I call the April above plus. You use it for spiritual detoxification. This one, if they bite me here, pastor, some things are moving all over my body. I have taken all manner of drugs. It's not going. I pray. Sister, brother, come and get this spiritual detox called Equal Above Plus. Sure, highly potent and effective. And we ship to all parts of the world. All you need to do is chat me on WhatsApp or call me on WhatsApp to place your order. Then at the snap of the finger, DHL or FedEx shall bring it to your doorstep. And peradventure, you have some spiritual cases you've been trying to treat yourself personally, and it seems your energy is not high enough in order to carry it out. I can help you. Chat me. Let us discuss on modalities how I can come in. But bear in mind, nothing is free, even in Freetown. So let's discuss and have an understanding. I am open up for communication. God bless you as you chat me up. Don't forget that my number is plus 234-813-134-3627. I don't have two numbers. That is just my number. God bless you. Now, we are going back to our boy. 
Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like this video, share my video, and subscribe to my channel if you have not. Check out my other videos. I have lots of them there. You're going to get some information that is mind-blowing that could transform your life overnight. God bless you. Now, you have gotten the two bottles. You have pasted the names household enemy on one, external enemies on the two, on the, on the second bottle. Then you read your Jeremiah chapter 13 from verse 12 to 14. And say to you, my enemies, this is the word of God against you. As I strike the two bottles together and break the bottles and the wines pour out and mix together. Let there be confusion amongst you. I put you into perpetual confusion. I command all of you, whether you know yourself or not, become enemies of yourselves. Begin to fight yourself and forget about me and my family. After praying that prayer, don't break the bottle immediately. Go and keep it somewhere safe in your house, the two bottles. Tomorrow, you bring it again, you do the assignment. You are going to observe this assignment for three good, eh, no, for eight good days. Eight good days. On the eighth day after the assignment, you will not break the two bottles. You'll jam them together. Pa. Be careful when you break the bottle so that you don't get yourself injured. So be play safe. Break the bottle. And let the two hit each other. As the two hit each other and break, so will your enemies begin to fight themselves. If they don't know themselves, so have you ever not seen when somebody become an enemy of himself? Let your enemies become enemies of themselves and begin to destroy themselves. Every step they take will bring trouble for them. Whatever they lay their hands upon will turn against them. Things that has been working for them will begin to work against them. Today, this is a tip that I am giving out for all my lovely ones out there. Go and try it and come back. Those wicked people in your office that they are ganging up, lying against you out of envy and jealousy. Go and use these spiritual tips. Put katakata, put confusion, put wearia, eh, up and down in their lives. Come back and testify. God bless you. Till we meet again in my next video, I remain your brother, Pastor Emeka Williams, and I love you so much.